Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about brushes. Yeah! I um, don't have any makeup on in this video, obviously, and I'm not going to be applying makeup in this video, so please be kind. This is me being very vulnerable and letting you see my makeupless face. So scary, I know, but just be nice. Um, this video is going to be all about brushes. First of all, I wanted to thank everybody that gave me ideas. I've had a lot of people email and text and a few of you comment on Facebook about um, what videos you'd like to see, so I'm excited to do all these new videos. Um, but tonight, I'm going to be talking about some brushes. What I think is good tools and good product are half the battle of having a beautiful, flawless face. If you have good brushes and you find the right product for your skin and for your, your face, really you've you're miles ahead than than most people so I wanted to talk about brushes for people that don't even have brushes that might have one or two I'm going to talk about some of the ones you're going to want for sure and then some of the ones that you um, might not need to go out and buy right now but maybe you want to think about in the future so let's talk about face brushes fingers are always great to apply your foundation obviously you can't apply powder with your fingers um, but if you use a, a tinted moisturizer, I recommend fingers anyways. Even liquid, a lot of liquid foundations, you warm up the product with your fingers. Obviously, if you're not a makeup artist, um, you know, and you can use fingers on yourself and not on your client. But anyways, fingers are great. However, sometimes it's great to use a foundation brush. Now, this isn't a must, but um, foundation brushes can help build really thin layers of foundation on your face so you might want a good foundation brush or a beauty blender which I don't really have right here on the table and that's my fault but um, a, a beauty blender is just like a sponge that helps you give you a flawless face and helps you get rid of any edges and um, it kind of works as fingers so like I said you don't always have to have a foundation brush or a blender you could use your fingers also a stippling brush is really great um, this one I love and it's from one of my favorite YouTubers, um, Marlena at MakeupGeek.com and it is amazing. It is the softest brush. You feel like you're getting a massage when you put this on. And this is just great to really stipple your um, foundation on, especially if you have, you need heavy coverage and you have to apply foundation all over the face. This is great. Okay, moving on, powder brushes. It's great to have a bigger brush that you can use powder all over, whether it's setting powder or um, foundation. You need one of these. These are just great. Blush brush. There's some that are angled, there's some that are flat. Um, depending on how large or small your face is, it sounds funny, um, you're gonna wanna play with different kinds of brushes which will work on your face um, to create that look in that area that you want. So we have foundation brushes, powder brushes, blush and contour brushes, and these are just the minimal of each kind that you might want to consider getting. Okay, concealer brushes are great because these little tiny brushes will help you kind of pinpoint areas on the face that maybe your finger is going to be too large for, so it's great for covering impurities. A soft concealer brush is great for dabbing under the eye when you're applying your concealer, especially sometimes if we're in a hurry and we're using our fingers, we tend to kind of tug and rub around our eyes, which isn't good because the skin around your eyes is so thin and so delicate and you want to be um, just as careful with that, that part of your face as possible. So sometimes it's, it's better just to pat with the concealer brush under the eye. Okay. Now, an air, area that you absolutely need brushes, okay, absolutely need. If you're like, no, I don't want the foundation brush, I don't even wear powder, I don't even wear blush, I don't even wear concealer, okay, these are all ones that I just kind of went over really quickly. Um, maybe you don't need these, but if you do wear eyeshadow, you're obviously going to need some eye brushes. Now, don't ever apply your makeup with those little sponge um, sponges that come in the little 
um, eyeshadow palettes, don't do that, okay? Unless you were stranded on a desert island and that's all you have, you're not going to be able to blend well with those. And it's just not easy. It's not an easy application. You're always going to want to use some kind of eye, eye brush. So I have a few here. This one I love. It's MAC 239. It's perfect to apply um, creamy eyeshadow, powder eyeshadow. It's great um, for just all different kinds of looks. And I feel like I'm talking really fast right now and there's so much I want to go over, but this is just a great brush for shadow, a flat eyeshadow brush, okay? A blender brush. If you want to do any kind of smoky eye or any kind of fun look, you're going to need a blender brush. This one uh, particularly is MAC 217, amazing brush. Okay, let's do, let's see, an eyeliner. I love this one. I don't even know if it's specifically used for, or designed for eyeliner, but I love it. It has a little bit of a, I don't know, it looks like it, it's a little bit of an angle, and so I use this a lot for eyeliner, and like I said, I don't know if it was designed for it, but, um, oh, and that's another thing. If it says eyeliner or concealer on the brush, and you think, hey, that would be a really great eye brush or cheek brush or whatever, play with it. It doesn't have to be, this one actually says concealer and I use it as a lip brush, so it doesn't have to be what it says all the time. Um, and feel the brushes. Usually, you know, the soft, more dense brushes are are great to, to contour the face and work with powders and then obviously the synthetic brushes, you want to make sure that they, um, you know, are soft and can get the job done with concealer and so on and so forth. So, um, I don't know. There's just so much to talk about with brushes, but you absolutely need eyeshadow brushes. And I would say a concealer brush would be great and just a tinier concealer brush would be great. Even, there's, I have a few that are even tinier than this to get right on the spot. Um, I really hope that helps. I don't know if it does, but I just feel like I needed to talk about this because a lot of people don't understand the importance of good brushes. Concealer brush, a blush brush, a foundation brush, at least two or more eyeshadow brushes, and maybe a bigger powder brush. Okay, so at the least, I would say, um, let's see what, at the least, I would say six. In your makeup kit for your daily routine and it depends on what your routine is if you hardly wear makeup and you just wear mascara and lip gloss you obviously don't need brushes but if you want to do a little bit more complicated look especially with the eyes you need great brushes MAC has some great brushes there's also some great brushes online and um, that are a little bit cheaper so if you guys have questions please ask I would love to help you find your perfect brush set or your perfect brush and I can't wait to talk more about makeup I'll see you soon. Hey everyone, I am um, started over. I'm sorry. I, I just don't know how to start it. I don't know. Hey everyone. It's stupid. You, well, if